California, USA. Tonight, courtesy of the Magic Kingdom Disney and the genius of Tim Burton, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions around the world waiting to be a part of this grand adventure, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, uh, let's get ready for Dumbo! Yeah, I mean, um, we, we did the 
the end credit song for the film, which was really a joy to work on. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see the see the film finally. Um, well, my grandfather Albino played in big bands in the 30s, and so uh, it really felt like we kind of wanted to do this as a tribute to him. Um, and yeah, it was it was a really beautiful experience. He used a bunch of his old instruments and guitars on the on the track. Honestly, it didn't feel like work. I mean, you've heard that before, but and I've said that before, and I've meant it before, but never was that so true as on this film. Because it was just, I mean, you look around, are you shooting all this stuff as well? That's what it was like on the set every day. You know, there was just this enormous crew of talented people in front of the camera, behind the camera, and also all this circus performers that they amassed from all the four corners of the globe, from Mongolia to South Africa to Northern Africa, South America. It was amazing. Yeah, you'd look in the corner, you'd see a contortionist, and over there would be people juggling and trapeze artists, and this was going to the office every day, so it wasn't exactly hard work. And Tim has been on it for a long time. I, admit, I was on it for five or six months, whatever it was, but this has been a labor of love for Tim for I don't know how long, but certainly a couple of years, you know. Tim has such an incredible um, grasp of the fantastical, you know, I mean, the worlds that he has created through the, uh, the provocation of his imagination and how he has put those words, worlds on the canvas of cinema over the years from Edward Scissorhands to Pee Wee's Big Adventure to um, Beetlejuice, you name it. He always, as an audience member, lifts me up and takes me somewhere to be, so to be a part of that kind of vision. He also has an understanding of the outsider and Dumbo is the quintessential outsider, you know, somebody who's not accepted because of the way they look, um, who's maligned and shunned. And so the message in this film is one of, it's beautiful to be a part of because it's one of inclusion, it's one of not just accepting difference, but celebrating difference. And that message never gets old, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't miss this. I would be really up upset if I wasn't in Dumbo. This is like a beautiful movie. Uh, with my buddy Tim and uh, Michael and, and Colin and Eva and the kids. Everybody's like so nice. It's really great to be here. It's very exciting. Well, you know, we take the, all the great values in the, in, the, in the Disney original, which is in 1941, the 63-minute masterpiece that Walt and the boys and girls made over at Disney. And then you give that uh, subject matter to Tim Burton. Tim Burton is an artist. He's a, you know, we're 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 experiencing this art that Tim brings to it, and it's exploded it into the 21st century, which is like our new Dumbo, and it's like so. I'm so proud to be in it. Yeah. Well, I think I think they're going to get blown away by not only the the art magic what Tim has done with with the with the story and with the visuals and everything, but this elephant is like what we're dealing with here. We've no. No animals, uh, you know, the, uh, no elephants in the movie. Either. It's all CG and just amazing. And you, you look at this elephant, I defy you not to fall in love with Dumbo. It is like she, he, excuse me, is like the best. He is like an amazing, beautiful elephant. You look into his eyes and you just melt. Well, it's just a lot of fun. When I heard he was doing this, I was like, Wow, really? But then I thought, sure, makes sense. And um, it was fun to rewatch the film after many years and remember some of the music, and then kind of start thinking about how can I pull a few of these mo musical moments into the score? Because I really wanted to make sure that we got some a sprinkling of, of that. And uh, it was just really fun. I, I wrote it really early, actually, before I even started working on the film. I just started thinking about that little sad elephant being taken away, the baby being taken from his mother. And I wanted to write something really sweet and innocent and sad. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm really excited. Tim Burton movie, uh, opportunity of a lifetime. Loved Tim Burton, loved his movies. When I got the call, I was ecstatic. Um, I think this is my second movie for Disney. I did Pirates of the Caribbean, so this is awesome, yeah. The script was great. Working with Tim was great, that I, I, I felt, and also the look of it. I also did a movie called Moulin Rouge, and just the look, the, the attention to detail was incredible in that movie, and the attention to detail in this movie is incredible too. The look of it is amazing. I think because it brings everyone together, everyone from all ages, and I think also because it's a Tim Burton film and it's Dumbo, it's that mixture of the young and the older crowd and the youth, like it's real, it, it's, it's gonna to appeal to the adults as well as the kids, which is great.
Wow. Well, well I just stepped in here, and it's amazing. I mean, uh, they've gone all out. You know, what, you'd expect that. You know, a movie of this scale, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's a circus. There's so many great things that you can pull on, and they actually have a lot of the props and the art in here, so it's great. You know, I don't think people are going to want to leave the party to go over to the movie, but we'll have to kick them out, I think. But it's really great. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, well, well, you know, you have a certain anxiety because you've been close to it and you've been working on it for so long and, and, and you love it and you know how you feel about it and I feel great about it. So you just want everybody else to feel the same way. But I'm, I have no doubt everyone's going to feel great and be swept up into the story and the character. There's really nothing to really not like about Dumbo. So I'm, I'm really excited for people to see it tonight. Oh my gosh. There, there's so much. Uh, I know personally, when I first read the story and I saw that the pink elephant scene was in there, and just the combination of Tim Burton and this pink elephant, this trippy kind of scene, that was something I was really excited to see come together. And now that the film's done, I think a lot of people are going to walk away. That's going to be something they're going to really remember and talk about. Yeah, this was uh, always my favorite of the classic Disney animated movies. And so in this era of creating live action versions of them. Uh, this was the one I, I most was hoping to be a part of. And it just seemed to me that since Dumbo was a story that was told through the point of view of animals, but it existed in a human world, this world of the circus, that we could do a version seeing Dumbo's story through the eyes of humans. And it would really work as a live action picture and I couldn't be happier with uh, the movie that's come together. Well, for me, it's uh, like stepping into a time machine and going to the golden age of the circus. And it is a world of wonder and magic and it's, it's transporting and uh, it's like a wish come true for me and I hope it's a wish come true for the audience to get to experience Dumbo's story as if he were re real uh, and as if we were all a part of that circus with him. I mean, it's such a beautiful story full of heart. And um, I mean, as a child, this story really marked me, you know, this mother and this baby elephant being separated. It was so touching and emotional. And, um, and this new take on it is, is very special and remains very moving, but it has that kind of Tim Burton touch. So it's very special. Yeah, I mean, I think there's nobody better than Tim to, to tell that story because he, he truly understands the, the outsiders, uh, you know, people who don't fit in. So yeah, perfect. I know, I mean, even as an actor, it was, the sets were so impressive because it was so complete which is very rare, you know, you had everything around you. You had, uh, you know, all the extras, the acrobats, the, 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 the real attractions. I mean, it was pure, pure magic. And I, I think it shows on screen. Um, well, when I first saw the original, it was brilliant. But then when I found out that I got the opportunity to do in the new one it, and all the people who were acting in it too, all the big people and Tim Burton, I was just so lucky and I was so amazed. It was, I couldn't even describe it. I am so excited. And of course, Disney have done a great job of teasing. I mean, all of the trailers and previews have been amazing. Um, and I've seen some clips that, you know, the public haven't seen, which I'm sure you have seen. Uh, when doing ADR and stuff in post-production, but I haven't seen a full movie and I, 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 I don't think I've been this excited to see a movie in a very long time, in fact, ever. I, I'm just, I cannot wait. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the first time I heard, even before I knew, I was involved in the project um, and I found out Tim Burton was directing this, uh, uh, I was like, yeah, that's gonna work. Because, you know, Tim has such a great way of creating a real world he and, and and he has a great way of putting fantastical characters and making them unbelievably real and and grounded and on top of that he really understands um people with differences people who are individuals who are unique and, and how their uniqueness makes them special 
and how they find that in themselves, how they integrate their uniqueness and specialness and turn it into what I like to call a superpower, something that makes them amazing. I had a little cheat moment and saw a little preview while we were shooting and already the CGI character looked amazing and that was back then, that was a year and a half ago. And when I saw the first actual official released preview trailer, I nearly died. I thought, they have nailed Dumbo. They've kept him real, looks like a real elephant, but they've added that little Disney special thing to him. You know, I mean, how cute can he be? The eyes, the eyelashes, the expression, everything. They really have nailed and got that balance absolutely beautiful between, you know, a, 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 a typical animated Disney character and real life. I mean, it just looks beautiful. I'm, I'm so proud of what they've done. I'm so excited. Yeah, I couldn't be more excited. We've been working on it for so long and it's kind of been in our own heads and we've really been able to experience the joy and, uh, and wonderment of Dumbo for a while ourselves, but now to really unleash him on the world and let everybody kind of feel the joy we, we feel is quite incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. The funny thing is, is that, you know, making a film is a lot like putting on a circus and the performance is a lot like the premiere in a way. So there are a lot of there are a lot of parallels between, you know, what, what we were doing when we were making the film and how a circus would be put together and, and what we're experiencing tonight. It's really fun to walk back into this place and see a lot of the props and and, uh, and certainly the people who were there when we were making the film all under the same uh, big top again. Yeah, we couldn't be luckier to have him at the helm of this movie. I mean, for me, it's a, it's just a dream to be working with him on anything, and for him to be working with him on Dumbo is very, very special uh, to me. He's a big fan of the original film and has a, you know, a, a long history with the studio, and just the way that he's able to bring his imagination to this character and create a world that's, you know, wholly, wholly the world of Dumbo and something that feels, you know, very Tim Burton, but also really honors the original film. It's fun, it's a classic, you know, and now everybody can see uh, uh, Tim's version of this. Probably because he might be unexpected, uh, you know, at first blush, but then when you think about it, you think, well, that material with Tim, that's got to be interesting. It's, it is such a difference to what we had on set, because Ed Osmond, who's amazing, was doing all of like the body work and it was incredible but now there's this really sweet elephant that everyone gets to look at and obviously it's now watching it's like a completely different experience because there's just this little creature that is adorable so cute i mean i think that throughout all of his work it's kind of about an outsider looking in and what it's like to be different and it obviously dumbo completely follows that and i think it's so lovely that he's a part of this because he's a genius and he's incredible and it's so lovely that he is a part of it and portraying this new reimagined story. I think just to discover a new side of the original story because obviously it's such a classic film and everyone's seen it and now it's been given a completely new with the same meanings but it's been given just a completely new vibe and I think that that's really exciting people to see. Well I mean I just I love Dumbo because I was just uh you know, something about uh, a f the image of a flying elephant, which is very symbolic of so many feelings and so many, um, y you know, emotions that you have. And so I, that's why I always loved it. I just felt very connected to it. Yeah, I mean, it talks about people's differences. It talks about family in all its weird forms, you know, and it talks about finding yourself and, you know, if you have either a mental or physical kind of disability or people think you look weird, you know, sometimes you can use those things to an advantage and to a beautiful effect. So that's what it was about. It's all a lot of talented people, actors, animators, artists, you know, so that's the beauty of it. It's like an amazing group of people working together.